Welcome everyone. So this is a stem DK build Venom. They will finally update a little bit. You will find the written form on alcasthk.com slash Venom. Remember I have issues with the website at the moment so it might take a week or two till you can access it again and I can update all the stuff. So let's just get started. Just to quickly check the stats. Basically see that 3.4k weapon damage, 67% crit and 36k stamina. We're using health stamina buff food, the normal potions, the weapon power to give brutality, savagery and the normal stamina. Also, I do recommend being either a Kashyyyk or a Red Guard. I personally prefer a red guard because it gives me more resource management, but if you want max damage you should be a Kashyyyk. Now let's get to the gear. First off we use three pieces Vicious Ophidian, Vicious Serpent set here. You also can use three pieces Alkosh, it doesn't really matter as long as you have the Miner Slayer buff. This is a must have, the 5% is really strong. Then I'm using Maelstrom Ox and a Dagger, both sharpened. There is, I will talk a little bit about precise sharpened more in a second. Then we have two pieces Krog, this is basically also a must have set for stem. The one piece bonus will be a 3 to 4% damage increase on all your skill, that's insane. And the two piece bonus is also really strong, it doesn't look like it's strong but it will give you like 2 to 4k d single, like DPS depending on how many heads are around. Then we are using twice born star because this build is optimized for trials but it of course also works in dungeons and solo. I prefer twice born star because it gives me a health bonus. If you want the max DPS output you would want to get Le Leviathan. So how much better is it compared to Twiceborn? It's like 0.5 to 1% better and that's it. And you would want to choose the Thief Mundustone. But the reason I choose Twiceborn is because of the health bonus. It's just so much better. Then you want to have 7 medium to get as much crit as possible. If you're doing hard modes, change out the medium chest with a heavy chest. So you get more resistances and a little bit more health. We also use a Mersen Bow Sharpened, this is also a must have if you want the max DPS output. Now why to sharpen? So basically as long as the boss doesn't have zero resistance, sharpened will be better. The moment the boss almost drops to zero resistance you want to start using precise. So how do you drop the boss to zero resistance? You drop him there with like sets like Night Mother's Gaze and Thunder Flame and all that kind of stuff. That's about the gear. Let's check the champion points. So I'm still experimenting a little bit around. You, you know it's a little bit different here. So I just put the 100 into Mighty, 44 Tomaturge and 43 Precise Strikes. We will get good damage like this. Then 87 in Tenacity, simply because Moon cough doesn't increase that much because our recovery is really low so sometimes when I do heavy attack it just helps more. 100 Warlord and then 87 Hardy and 100 Elemental Defender. That's basically it about the CP, this here is the most important. You also can put 90 here and like 54 here if you want. It's I just prefer this setup at the moment. Now skill wise, so first about Let's start here. Venomous Claw. This is basically our strong single target dot. It can be empowered with the Maelstrom weapons. Steel Tornado, our main AoE skill. Rapid Strike. So this deals really nice damage. It doesn't cost a lot to use. Plus we need it because of the Maelstrom weapons to get the extra 2k weapon damage. Rending Slashes, also really strong single target dot. Then I have Camo Hunter here, I never use this skill but you will see why it's here and Flawless Dawnbreaker. So those two skills give us an additional 11% weapon damage. You see while slotted your weapon damage is increased by 5% plus 
Slayer passive increases weapon damage by 3% for each fighter skill ability slot. So we have 2. So the 6% plus 5 is 11% extra weapon damage. Really nice. Endless hail gets empowered by the Maelstrom Bow. So it's really freaking strong. It's basically our strongest skill. Rearming Trap, this is also a must have, it gives us a minor force, plus it deals a shit ton of damage, insane. Poison Ejection, it also can be empowered by the Maelstrom weapons, so it's a must have. Noxious Breath, so usually this is not the must have, but I just, after I use Poison Ejection, I just use this, and then I weapon swap immediately. So it's like cance animation cancelled with the weapon swap. Then we have Flames of Oblivion here, it's just a nice dot, just activate it every second time and you're good to go when you do your rotation. Now, if you want to know more about the Maelstrom weapons, I will put the link into the description where I explain them really like close so you know how to use them and I will also explain there the trick with the rearming trap, how you can empower it. Because I see a lot of people not doing that. Plus, of course, the standard. This is basically also a must have 20% extra damage. It's just insane. Now now people are like, yeah, but why not use this new ultimate? Yeah. For a stem DK, the, st the standard is just way too strong. That's the thing. So you will benefit more from this skill than from this. Now also remember your undaunted bonuses is really important. Just, you, you need a lot of passives and also don't forget the uh, medicinal use because if you don't have that you lose a lot of uptime on your potions then also make sure that you have Kamo Hunter here and Flames of Oblivion here or if you only have one space like if you want to run a shield for example make sure to use the Flames of Oblivion on the first bar because there is still a small bug with the potions. If I use this on the second bar, so now I have 57% crit, I use a potion, 67, I swap here, 67, I swap back, 57. So what the, what happens? I activate the potion, here no crit buff, It it the system remembers, okay, I get the extra crit from the potion, it swaps here, now this skill overrides the potion buff for some weird reason. You swap back and the game forgot that you have the crit buff from the potion. So that's why at least one of the crit buffs has to be on the first bar. That's really important. So that's basically already it. Again, make sure to adjust stuff a little bit if you really want to get the max out of it because nobody has the same playstyle. So maybe what works great for me doesn't really work like best for you. So just make sure to adjust the stuff you need to. And again if you want to run a precise and a sharp and you can too. The Maelstrom weapons are still really strong even if you have a bad trade they are still better than normal weapons. Okay. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.